Today, the Transportation Department proposed new rules to make rail tankers less likely to leak and explode after a derailment. It was just yesterday that 13 cars carrying crude oil derailed in Lynchburg, Virginia. It turns out the amount of crude oil moving by rail is growing rapidly across the country, but safety regulations are not. And Elaine Quijano has been looking into this. Every day, mile-long trains from the Bakken oil fields of North Dakota pass through Albany, New York. Some carry 85,000 barrels of crude. The amount of Bakken oil transported by rail has increased 20-fold since 2008. But federal authorities say the chemical properties of Bakken crude make it more flammable than oil from other areas. What keeps me up at night is a fear that I'll get a phone call or that I'll hear a boom. Councilwoman Vivian Cornegay represents this Albany neighborhood. You know, if something happens, you know, they're all gone. These homes are no longer. If something catastrophic is to happen here. This train carrying Bakken crude derailed in North Dakota in December. This accident was in Alabama just weeks earlier. But it was this explosion that killed 47 people in Canada that terrified many who live in towns on the oil routes. Charlene Benton lives just 50 yards from the tracks in Albany. What would you do if something happened? What would I do? The only thing I could do is pray. The industry is, is moving this stuff around every single day. Department of Transportation Secretary Anthony We're Fox told us the rush of Bakken on the rails has forced his agency to act. What you have is a, pro a proliferation of a new growth energy product in this country without a proliferation of inspectors, without a proliferation of, um, in many cases, the, the regime that needs to go along with making sure that everything is safe. Railroads have already agreed to reduce speeds for oil trains and improve braking systems. But Vivian Cornegay wants oil trains rerouted around heavily populated areas. There will be a next time with all the amount of oil moving throughout this country, it's bound to be a next time. And I don't want that next time down here where my residents live. The White House will review the safety proposals. We're told approval can take months. Elaine Quijano, CBS News, Albany, New York.